not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. Our dark days, indeed. Did you see that? Be wary, friends! Malik. Come to waste more of my time? I found Talal. I'm ready to begin my mission. That is for me to decide. Very well. Here's what I know. He traffics in human lives, kidnapping Jerusalem citizens and selling them into slavery. His base is a warehouse located inside the Barbican, north of here. As we speak, he prepares a caravan for travel. I'll strike while he's inspecting his stock. If I can avoid his men, Talal himself should prove little challenge. Little challenge? Listen to you. Such arrogance. Are we finished? Are you satisfied with what I've learned? No. But it will have to do. Rest, prepare, cry in the corner. Do whatever it is you do before a mission. Only make sure you do it quietly. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. What is it, Altair? Come to admit defeat? I'm resting. Does this look like paradise? There will be no rest for those who do not fulfill their duties. Complete your mission! Now, slaver. Do not call me that. I only wish to help them, as I myself was helped. You do no kindness imprisoning them like this. Imprisoning them? I keep them safe, preparing them for the journey that lies ahead. What journey? It is a life of servitude. <laughs> you know nothing. It was folly to even bring you here, to think that you might see and understand. I understand well enough. Show yourself. Help me! Save me! Ah, so you want to see the man who called you here? You did not call me here. I came on my own. <laughs> did you? Who unbarred the door? Cleared the path? Did you once raise your blade against a single man of mine, huh? No. All this I did for you. Step into the light then, and I will grant you one final favor. Now I stand before you. What is it you desire? 
Come down here. Let us settle this with honor. Why must it always come to violence? It seems I cannot help you, for you do not wish to help yourself. And I cannot allow my work to be threatened. You leave me no choice. You must die. This will teach you not to trust us. May God have mercy on your No more delay! I will end your life! How can one expect to defeat us? Kill him already! What's wrong with you? Keep him away from me! You've nowhere to run now. Share your secrets with me. My part is plain. The Brotherhood is not so weak that my death will stop its work. What Brotherhood? Al Mualim is not the only one with designs upon the Holy Land. And that's all you'll have from me. Then we are finished. Beg forgiveness from your god. He's long abandoned us. Long abandoned the men and women I took into my arms. What do you mean? Beggars, whores, addicts, lepers. Do they strike you as proper slaves? Unfit for even the most menial tasks? No. I took them not to sell, but to save. And yet you'd kill us all. For no other reason than it was asked of you. No. You profit from the war. From lives lost and broken. Yes, you would think that, ignorant as you are. Wall off your mind. They say it's what your kind do best. Do you see the irony in all this? No, not yet, it seems. But you will. Altair, wonderful to see you return to us. And how fared the mission? The deed is done. Talal is dead. Oh, I know, I know. In fact, the entire city knows! Have you forgotten the meaning of subtlety? A skilled assassin ensures his work is noticed by the many. No, a skilled assassin maintains control of his environment. We can argue the details all you'd like, Malik. But the fact remains, I've accomplished the task set to me by Al-Mu'allim. 
Go then. Return to the old man. Let us see with whom he sides. You and I are on the same side, Malik. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. What's the problem now? I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the Animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something! How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. Why is he always yelling at you? It's his machine. His theories. He's not the one who built it. Who did? You? <laughs> no. Abstergo has a team of engineers. Not much they don't have. But I did oversee the assembly. Guess that's why he gets so angry with me. He's a dick. He's under a lot of pressure. We all are. I can't believe you're defending the guy. Warren saved my life, so if he wants to yell a little, let him. What do you mean he saved your life? You're not the only one who doesn't get to go home at night. Wait, are you saying you're a prisoner? When they first approached me, I was finishing up my PhD. The university had made it clear I had no future there. They didn't like the subject of my doctorate, called it pseudoscience. Said keeping me on would discredit and embarrass them. <sighs> it was the same everywhere. Other universities, companies I interviewed with. Pretty soon I was out of money and out of time. I was this close to waiting tables. Then I got a letter. From Vidic? He said he'd been following my career since undergrad. That he believed in my work and wanted to meet to discuss my future. You have no idea how good it felt to hear that. So I met with him. What did I have to lose? And he offered you a job? Yes. Here at Abstergo. Helping out on the Animus Project. I'd have a chance to test my theories and prove the professors wrong. How could I turn that down? I think I'm missing the part where you became a prisoner. Sometimes I wonder... if they weren't behind at all. If they manipulated events so that I'd get desperate. They can do that. They can do anything. I didn't think when I agreed to come here. They even told me I'd be trapped. For six months, a year max. Once the product launched, there'd be no need for secrecy anymore. But until then, I'd be a guest of the company. At least, that's what they said. And when the Animus was ready? They came in while I was sleeping. Three guys. Guns. They dragged me out of bed. God. The worst part is I knew them. One guy, Richard, we ate lunch together sometimes. And now he was gonna... They were cracking jokes. I tried to pull away. He hit me. And that's when he told me I was going to die. Christ, what did you Nothing. do? Nothing. I kept telling myself it wasn't real. And then Warren was there, shouting at them to get away from me. And they listened. Jesus. He's not a happy man, Desmond. I wouldn't even say he's a good man, but he saved my life. They never came for me again. And he promised they never would. You're still stuck here working for these nutjobs. But I'm alive. Anyway. I really do need to get the Animus repaired. I'll see you tomorrow, Desmond. Aren't you tired? What the hell? Someone's been in here.
Looks like some kind of access code. 